Hi Virgos, welcome and welcome back. I prefer her to row. I love to see that you prefer me. What about talking to your reading and see what's going on with you all? Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. If you all would like to get a personal reading with me, all of my information is down below. Let's get into this reading. Most important the messages for the sign of Virgo, please. Most important messages for the sign of Virgo. We're going to start off with an oracle. Then we're going to go on to some questions. Most important message for Virgo, please. And thank you. We have change. And then we have relaxation at the bottom of the deck. All right. Delight and the peace, blessings. So I feel like I should say don't worry. Things are changing for you all. So take your time to take care of yourself, relax, enjoy the season change as well. <laughs> but yeah, just enjoy the times and just be in the moment. Change is definitely happening. This card is coming out and it's not coming. It's coming out for a reason. So let's get messages. I really feel like to be um, honest, you all may not feel like the change is happening or see it happening, but it's definitely happening. That's probably right now. Now for you all change. I feel like this is going to be something that you enjoy as well. Yeah, I see the Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords energy. And then I see the Star card. Renew Hope and Faith. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. I feel like I shouldn't have said that to some of you all because you're probably like, no, I should be worried about it, but it's going to be okay. How is... Virgo's feeling. How is Virgo feeling at the moment? What was that? The tower card or something came, tried to come out. It didn't come out though. How is Virgo feeling at the moment, please? And thank you. How is Virgo feeling? <laughs> Nine of Cups. Well, you're happy. I guess the change already happened for some of you all. We have the Six of Wands and the World card. Something has ended. We have the Sun card and we have the Three of Wands energy. So, success okay wait to be honest for some of you all you feel the change and you're feeling good about it um you're feeling successful you close some type of chapter um you're you you are receiving reciprocity after you feel like you haven't had it or whatnot but i'm also getting the energy for some of you all Huh, I'm not saying that. I'm not going to speak that out into existence or anything. Some of you all kind of like are worried about losing this feeling of abundance and happiness. That's what I'm going to say. That's it. So we're just going to move forward. Uh, clarify the nine of cups as to how Virgo is feeling. Could be a Pisces here as well. We have the queen of pentacles. Yeah. And then we have the five of wands energy and the higher thing. Okay. What are we doing? Six of Swords energy. The, why am I looking at looking like that? So the Five of Wands energy, the higher. I think some of you all are overcoming some type of obstacle where you feel like you were competing with others, but that competition, that feeling of competitional drama, it all happened for a reason. It was a teacher learning experience, so I guess level level you up emotionally, or also. It's a situation where I guess you you realize that you avoided some type of drama filled situation that could have had you stuck. Let me get more messages. Um, why is Virgo feeling this way? Why is Virgo feeling this way? We have the Ten of Cups, which we feel me. I love it. And then we have the Queen of Wands energy at the bottom of the deck with the Page of Pentacles. So it could be some type of offer. Or well, yeah, you, if you like do something creative business wise or you could have Aries Leo Sagittarius somewhere in your chart or dealing with someone here I feel like you're receiving something for what it is that you do okay some type of profit there um let's move forward how can Virgo better ma manage these emotions ace of swords know the, know the truth or be truthful and honest with yourself Keep coming up with new ideas. Don't be stuck um, in your head. Just know. Let's see. 
We have Eight of Swords, Ace of Cups, Three of Swords energy. Oh, there was some type of challenge here. It's not out here. It's in the deck with that Three of Swords. It's like you know, you know that hurt. You know something that had hurt you. If something happened, you know that it hurt. You very, you're very aware of how it made you feel. But I think because you've overcome it, now you're in this relaxed state because now that you see these changes happening, it's like continue to know that you've overcome something that could could have potentially made you feel worse and set you back further than what you know what it what it what it may have done in the first place. So let's move forward. <laughs> What's the ace of swords as to how can Virgo better manage these emotions? Eight of Cups. Walk away from people, place things they do not serve you. If they if it don't feel right, keep moving. Can't go pennies to cruise. You got too much to worry about, like your money, your comfortabli comfortabil comfortability. Oh my goodness. I hope I said it correctly, but I try to say it. Um <laughs> Tongue tag. Um, Virgo, let me stay on track. I don't know. But yeah, you worry about your money, your funds, your 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 commitments, your relationships, you being comfortable, right? Yeah, that type of energy. So if it doesn't make you feel right, you walk away from it, type of energy. Let's move forward. What's on Virgo's mind? The five of swords in reverse that you feel like someone had got no 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 there was a point in time where you were quite okay with the foolishness the chaos drama bs or whatever type of situation you was with the ish all right there was a point in time but i feel like you you realize that those type of situations led you into um, things that you didn't want to be in. Yeah. Um, mm hmm Devilish type of situations. Devilish type of individuals. So I think you realize that that's not the place that you want to be. Because that could lead you into a cycle of pain that you don't want. Not necessarily yeah, pain or whatever you want to call it with the devil. Um, what was that question? What's on your mind? Oh, this is like thinking about the past and everything that you were doing. Right? Right. Let's move forward. Could be thinking about some people that you may have hurt as well. Excuse me. Maybe you were thinking about maybe someone. Excuse me. Someone got an over on you. Why the five of swords? Why is it here? As to what's on Virgo's mind. Ah, there's a three of swords energy in the queen. You, it, I said that you knew that it hurt. I said that here with the ace of swords, right? That you knew that you've overcome some type of hurtful situation. And now things are changing. Seven of swords. Yeah, someone was definitely trying to get away with something. Someone in sneaky behavior. They had a sneaky week or something like that. Someone, someone was being real quiet about it. But it doesn't necessarily have to be that. But someone wasn't being truthful and honest about maybe how they um, created, the, created stability for themselves with the emperor card. It could be anything, but two of swords, someone act like they didn't see what was coming or someone didn't want to take out the blindfold, someone didn't, didn't want to make a choice or a decision. So this is what someone is thinking about. What's on, why is this on your mind, Virgo? Well, was on your was on your mind? You was thinking about getting back a uh, vengeance, vendetta. You had a vendetta? Did you have a vendetta against someone? Maybe. Let's move forward. Uh, what should Virgo be focused on? Uh, <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So yeah, I think you did have a vendetta against someone. You feel like, like someone took something away from you or y'all had a fight. I have no idea why you had this feeling towards this individual or individuals or the situation. We have the ten of swords in reverse. And I, that was what should you be focused on? The six of six of wands energy. No. Mm -mm. Mm 
Why is the Ten of Swords here? Someone really did. Someone did do something sneaky. Someone is hoping, and that's just, that's what someone should be focused on. Someone's hoping. Right. Okay, I get it. Okay, I get it. All right. So Virgo, some of you all could have did some messed up stuff. All right, but I think. What's happening here is that Spirit Switch Universe is asking you or wanting you to be focused more so on closing out the situation. Uh, yeah, Conti uh, to manifest in a more so authentic way. Other than allowing yourself to be betrayed or sitting in situations where you know you're being betrayed. I want to see word for word what they have to say about the ten of swords in reverse sometimes i just get called to do it and right now this is one of those moments so let's see yeah the resisting the inevitable not wanting to let go of uh, negative emotions rock bottom a narrative rooted in lack and helplessness devastating loss recovery so just yeah focus on re i'm gonna say just focus on the recovery part since that came out and then the star card so things may not be going well but change is definitely happening. Someone was trying to resist the inevitable, as it said. But Spirit Source Universe wants you to focus on going towards your destiny after all of this. But for some of you all, you all feeling good. You feeling great because you realize that you overcame, right? Move forward. What is the um, star card? Yeah, he healing. It's been some type of confusion with you going after something here. But you'll be able to take a break soon with you being focused on your destiny, your soul's calling. So, what, um, any other important messages for Virgo other than what we know here? Do, yeah, time for you to do. This is you making the decision to do things differently in your life, to create the change in your life. So, moving forward, what's the advice for Virgo? We got the Eight of Wands. You taking action towards, look, let's see what we're talking about here. Because it doesn't necessarily have to be a man. But you taking action. You speaking. You taking action. When it comes down to just taking care of yourself. Self-care for the long time. Taking care of yourself so that you can continue to take care of those around you. Um, so that you can live longer. Um... Focusing on your into getting in tune and in touch with your intuition, the nurturing side of yourself, respecting the feminine within you. What is that question? This is the most important messages, or was this the advice? I have no idea. I can't remember. So I'm just going to move forward to the advice now, Virgo. Because I can't remember what was that question. But can I get more on that eight of wands? Hanging man, see things differently. Some of you all allow yourself to be betrayed in relationships and connection as well. Or it was the way you would move in, in relationships or something like that. But spiritual universe basically is saying like it's time to think differently or move differently when it comes down to connections or decision making. Planning roots and stuff like that. What's the hanging man? The justice card. Yeah, you're trying to create better balance in your life. This is also someone making it. This is someone creating a new like. This is this is creation. Deciding to create something new, whether it's a family, whether it's whether it's children, whether it's a business, and whatever it is. This is you creating something new, creating a new self. What is the um justice card? Now I'm not telling you to go do any surgery and stuff like that. I mean like mentally. So the two of pentacles, gain the more control of yourself. Planting roots. Ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I'm just going to move on. What's the advice for Virgo? What's the advice for Virgo? Because this is simply just you changing. Creating change in your life. Page of swords in reverse. What? This is 
no more rejecting advice. Feeling like they know it all. I'm on a page of stories in reverse as to why you saying this, this is the advice. Mm. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, spirit is showing that someone feels like they know it all when it comes down to how to create that long-term success that you're looking for. But it's some type of confusion connected to the way you're pushing forward, the way you're taking up the approach, the way you're making it happen. Ten of Wands energy. And then an so it's like it's either someone not willing to put in the work or realize how much work it takes, how much work it takes, and then you end up getting all worried in your mind, ready to give up, damn near depressed, afraid to move forward, start to hold back, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so your advice is to be able to be teachable, I would say, when it comes down to trying to create something long term, commit a commitment. Let's read this change card, because I'm going to leave it there. Community, courage. All right, here we go. It's okay to change your mind. It's all right to change direction. You don't need to be consistent. This is the time to put the needs and expectations of others aside and listen to the beat of your own drum. You don't need to follow tradition. Create your own tradition. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Be daring. Go beyond predictable behavior. Just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that, you, that it needs to continue to be done that way. You can't control the exact circumstances of your life, but you can control what meaning you give to them. Select meanings that empower you, but this is the time to, to be carefree, wild, and unpredictable. So, Virgo, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave a like, share, all that good stuff. I love you all that loves me, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.